Hello everyone, good day. Uh, today we're just going to make a short video um, on you know proper setup and things like that when setting up a Uniview NVR. Uh, I call it best practices. First thing you want to do uh, once you have a cloud account, um, you want to go to this website os.easycloud.uniview.com and it will take you to the website where you can log in. I already have my credentials here, so I am going to log in. And now I can see all the devices. We're going to use uh, this device here and kind of show up, show the procedures that I would recommend for, you know, good practices when setting up a system. Now, first thing we want to do is go to setup. Uh, the most crucial thing you want to do is check the time. So uh, obviously uh, I'm in the Eastern time zone or this client is. So we're going to make sure it's Eastern time zone and it is. I'm going to take a look at the time. Right now it's 11, uh, almost 11.45 a.m. Uh, the time is a little bit off so I'm going to sync it with the computer and now the time has synced with my computer. I'm going to next check daylight savings time. By default, this is turned off. I have already turned it on, so we're just going to save that. After I do that the first time, because it is off, I would just go back to the time, make sure the time is correct after turning daylight savings time on. Next thing I would generally do is um, go to upgrade, uh, go to IP camera upgrade. We're going to check all these cameras and see if there's any updates available. I have already updated all these cameras, so it shows this is already the latest version on all of these cameras. Now we're going to also check the NVR to see if there's an NVR firmware upgrade. It shows this version is already the latest because I have already upgraded it. Next thing I would want to do is go to network and from here I want to check port mapping. Now here we can see that the status is inactive. Uh, so the port forwarding was not fully successful in opening the ports on the router, uh, but we are still connecting to this system. So uh, we will just let it be uh, because it seems to be functioning properly. But normally with port mapping, you wanna see active all on the right side. If not, you can look at doing manual port forwarding and um, on these ports here, the AD554 and 443. If you do manual port forwarding, uh, then you should have an active status on the right side. And finally, I want to check the cameras. Um, when I check the cameras, I want to go to OSD. Now, we want to rename these cameras. Um, now, I'm not too familiar with where these cameras are, but we're going to take our best shot. Uh, I did rename some, like Backyard and things like that. Uh, I want to try to, um, we'll call this Front Left of House, I guess. And we'll save it. Uh, now we'll do this one here. We'll call this Driveway. This just makes it a lot easier when, you know, you're um, pulling up the cameras or the end user is pulling up the cameras. We'll call this one front yard. And we'll see what we have the cameras named as now. So we got two front yards. So let's take a look at this one and compare. So this is front yard as well. So we'll call this one front yard slash front door. And that way we could differentiate between the, the cameras. Now when we go to live view, you can see that these cameras, uh, I'm not sure why the installer did not install cameras on two and three, but that's fine. Uh, you can see they all are labeled now. I did label some previously, but now what we're gonna do is we're going to show how to set up what's called ultra motion detection. So, we're going to go to um, alarm and we're going to go to motion. By default, motion detection is on. We are going to um, change it from regular motion detection to ultra motion detection. Now you can see by default it is on the full screen. 
With ultra motion detection, it's only going to give you an alert if the camera sees a human body, motor vehicle, or non-motor vehicle. So it's going to eliminate those um, notifications when you get the side driving snow or rainfall or you know a raccoon or squirrels running through the scene or birds or a spider hanging in front of the lens uh, things like that shadows changing on the ground and things like that so what we're going to do to properly set up ultra motion detection is we're going to um, take the neighbor's uh, spot out of here so I'm going to clear that um, we're going to basically draw an area here and we want it something like this so you can see this is area number one right now um, sensitivity is 50 we're going to change that to about 60 and we want to be alerted if the camera sees a human body a motor vehicle or non-motor vehicle and the next most important thing is we have to click on trigger actions and we want it to record on d1 we're going to click save <clears throat> now this camera is set up on ultra motion detection. We're going to move on to camera, the next one. This is actually in slot D4, but that's fine. Now, again, <clears throat> you can see lots of leaves and things like that on the ground. If a wind comes in and blows these leaves, it's going to be uh, giving you lots of false alerts. So we're going to change the sensitivity from 98 to about 80 on the motion, but we're not going to be relying on motion. We're going to go ultra motion detection. And from here, this is covering the whole area. So I believe this one is fine. Uh, we're going to leave the sensitivity at 50 on this one. And trigger actions, we're going to record on D4. So now ultra motion detection is set up on driveway camera. And we're going to go to the next one. Same here. Uh, this looks like it's showing some of the neighbor's property. So we can take some of this area out. Uh, just for motion detection if you're just relying on motion detection um, and we change the sensitivity to about 80 and that's for regular motion detection now we're going to change it to ultra motion detection um, <clears throat> same thing we can leave this one full screen I guess uh, trigger actions we will go camera d5 to record and save and now this camera is also set up on ultra motion detection we're just going to continue and set up all of them on ultra motion detection. That one is set up now. Uh, front yard. So this does look like some of the neighbor's house uh, or property. So we will take the motion out of there. It, the camera will record 24 seven anyways, but uh, we'll take out their side just in case they walk over there or something like that. That should be sufficient there. We'll change the sensitivity to 80. And we're gonna, this camera, you can see it's not ultra motion detection compatible, so it does not have the option. This one does, so we're going to set this one up on ultra motion detection. And trigger action, um, ultra motion detection. This one will just leave full screen, I guess. Uh, this is uh, eight, so trigger actions record on eight. That is good there. And then camera nine. This one also has ultra motion detection. Now, this looks like a road of some sort. We don't want to be alerted every time. You can see this one on the top right of the screen. It's actually giving us a motion detection right now. I'm not sure why. Probably some blowing uh, bushes or something like that. But we will take the roadway out here looks like the road there and we will dial this sensitivity down to 80 on regular motion detection now we will set up ultra motion detection uh, we want to record on camera 9 and let's take a look at the area same thing we don't want to be alerted every time a vehicle drives down the road here so we're going to clear this we are going to draw a new area
This should also cover their front door area. So that's a good area there. Anytime a vehicle or um, you know a person uh, comes up into this area, it will give a ultra motion detection. And it looks like we have two more back patio. This one we can dial down the sensitivity on the regular motion detection, but we will leave this one full screen for the ultra motion detection. We want to record on D10. This is very important that you select the camera to record, otherwise the ultra motion detection will not work. So this is full screen, that's fine. Uh, and then the last one here, camera 11. Uh, this is the left side view. So same thing, this looks like their neighbor's property. Um, so, but the problem is this camera does not all offer ultra motion detection. So now we're going to have to <clears throat> rely on motion. So we're gonna select the area. We're gonna draw area here. Let's kinda just put it in the side here. Now there's some trees and things to contend with, but I think that's a good area right there. I don't wanna to go too close uh, with these uh, branches blowing in the wind and things like that. So let's take this guy out, uh, but that should be a good area. So if anyone walks up here, um, it will give us, we'll drop the sensitivity to 75 and that's pretty much it for setting up motion detection or ultra motion detection. I hope that helps.